What's up, it's me, Lego Paradise here, and today I'm going to show you my Lego Space Mothership. So this took around two months to build, and at just over a meter long, this is probably my biggest Lego creation yet. And you can see a minifigure just down there if you want to compare the scale. So let's take a look at the outside details. So as you can see the spaceship is in two halves, with one of the halves being cut away and the other being a outside of the spaceship. And if we move on to the top of the spaceship, you can get an idea of the plan and the layout and also the other half. So as you can see, the ship has an industrial yet still futuristic look that continues all the way around. And if we start at the front of the ship, we can see the heavy duty windows that overlook all of the space and atmosphere around them. And they continue around the side of the front part of the ship. And then just on the top there you have a small little blaster just for dealing with asteroids or small spaceships. And some more windows and panels around the side. And again, looking around the front, you can see a nice blue pattern going across to signify that this is a mothership. Now you might be wondering what's in these doors, and I'll show you right now. It's easier to open with two hands. They open up to reveal some missiles that can then come out slightly, so you can shoot enemy ships or uh, asteroids out of space. And they just close inwards on the tracks behind them to stay concealed. So here you can see the main airlock. This is where astronauts can get in and out of the ship. And that leads in to the main of the inside, which we'll cover later. So at the middle of the ship, you can see that the very middle is dominated by two garages or hangars. And these can be used to hold small speeders and spacecraft. You can just fly in, park, refuel with the fueling pipe and the fuel in the corner, and exit into the main spaceship. You can just open the door and go through the airlock inside. And there's just a little viewing window just right here. And this bit at the bottom is just a little support to support the weight of the middle section so it doesn't tip over to one side. Because as you can see, the middle extends quite a bit away from the main middle of the ship. And it's also got some nice detailing on the sides here. This just adds a bit more texture and breaks up the otherwise light grey colour scheme of the ship. And again that's the same on the other side, on the back. Now moving on to the top part of the middle, you can see some panels which act as wings to cover the garages down below. And on them you can see some smaller panels and indentations which are all the equipment and devices the ship needs. So on the top you can see that there's a couple of skylights or space lights in this case and a main quad laser in the centre. That spins around and goes up and down ready to shoot any enemies out of the sky. So moving around to the back of the mothership you can see these four mighty engines that are prepared to steer the spaceship in any direction, in any course that the captain commands it. You can see there's again some dark grey fins and engines just to break up uh, mainly light grey and blue colour scheme of the main ship. You can see the engines a bit more closer. And they've just got some fins and exhaust flaps just for a bit more texture. 
and then around the side you can see just yet another window a little fuel tank and just some more detailing to make it look a little bit more sci-fi and these doors are the garage doors that open up into a little storage bay which will store all sorts of space goods and supplies ready to be delivered to all the other planets and the doors just close like that now the top part of the spaceship features the communication area and that features a lot of satellites and antennas to communicate to any friendly ships or to warn any pirate or enemy ships in the vast deepness of space as you can see there's some little cages and bars just to protect these satellites a little bit from the debris of space and then around the back there's a sort of half compartment which maybe contains a generator or something else Moving on to the inside of the mothership, I'll explain the ideas that went into the design for the interior. So I decided to do a cutaway view for the inside of the spaceship, since it allowed many more rooms and just a better general view of all of the compartments and details. So we'll take a look at each of these rooms, starting from left to right, bottom to top. And we begin with the storage area. As you can see, there's lots of supplies and packages and engines that this mothership can transport all across the galaxy. And it includes some nice mesh flooring for added realism. Now the next room is the garage, and that includes a nice workbench, some generators and the mechanic there. And you can also see the garage door, which leads to the generator room. Now the generator room is where the spaceship gets most of its power and you can see some gas cylinders and an engineer just working away at the generator. Okay so next to that we have the jail cell because since this mothership is going to be fighting bad guys and just protecting the universe and galaxy you're going to need to lock a few people up on the way. Now next to that we have the sleeping area and you can see a boxing bag for when the soldiers and staff are off duty and just want to get a bit of exercise. Some lockers and some bunks. So the final room on the bottom is the armory. And as you can see there's lots of futuristic weapons and armour and also some space gear. And you can see the weapons commander just standing there observing. And there's also some equipment and the airlock to get out. Okay, so now the middle of the ship contains the meeting room, the meeting area. And you can see that's dominated by a nice central table. And you can see the leaders and captains of the ship discussing some sort of important matter on the other side of the solar system. Now moving on from that, you can see the kitchen and cafe area. Now of course every spaceship needs one since astronauts have got to eat. And you can see I included lots of details such as the vending machine and the drinks dispenser along with some tables and chairs and a little kitchen at the back with some cupboards, toaster and some bottles. Now next to that is the bathroom area and you can see some showers and a little toilet in the corner that's just made out of a few tap pieces and just general uh, dish pieces to act as the bowl for the sink and the toilet. Now moving on from there you can see the missile and you might have seen this already that the missile can travel out on the little rails so you can extend it when you want to fire at enemy ships. Okay, so on the top level of the space mothership, you can see the control room. 
And this is where all of the computers and technology is on the ship. And that's linked very closely to the satellites and the general antennas and aerials on the top of the ship outside. Now, as you can see, there's lots of screens and monitors. Now, next to that, you can see the stairway, which leads to all of the floors. And that's a pretty important part of the ship and is marked off by some yellow tape for safety. So next to that is the science lab. Now this is where all of the experiments on the newly discovered materials and aliens are made. And you can also see a little medical area with a blood drip and a medical bed next to it, along with a chemistry set on the science lab table. And of course a door to get to the next part of the ship. Okay, so now we arrive at the offices, and this is where the commanders and officers sleep when they're not on duty, and also work when they are. And these are just some simple but smart offices to just fill a bit of space and make the ship even more realistic. And you can see that the front of the ship is joined by a couple of airlock doors, just in case of an oxygen breach. Okay, so next to that, you can see the final corridor of the space mothership. That contains a little cleaning robot, just on the cleaning duty, along with some more control panels and the pilot of the ship. And that sums up the inside of the space mothership. So I hope you enjoyed my LEGO Space Mothership, and if you did, don't forget to tell me in the comments and share this with your friends. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.